So here, remember I told you if you have a bunch of data, and in this data you want to uh, highlight something, you want to let's say uh, get rid of unique data or get rid uh, get rid of uh, sorry duplicates or get rid of blanks. That's uh, I told you how to approach that, right? Now sometimes let's say here I have six five I have two fours maybe two ones and maybe two sixes. Okay, so I have some non unique or duplicate in this data, and I don't want to delete anything or so. I just want to highlight where in my data I have duplicates. So then I make a decision about them. Okay, so just highlight it no action just highlight show me where i have duplicates or show me in my data where i have a number less than three maybe i should never have had numbers less than three so somebody made a mistake and entered a number less than three for me can i find where they are so i can investigate into that okay so if that happens you can highlight of course you can highlight the places of interest in the data. So if you go to Home tab, then you have here it's called conditional formatting. So let's say I select this range of data I want to do some investigation in and then go here. And then here it says highlight cell rules. What kind of rule do you want? Do you want to highlight duplicates? Do you want to highlight less than something, bigger than something? Let's say highlight duplicates for me. And it says, what do you want? Do you want me to use what color? Do you want light red, yellow, green, whatever? Light red fill, right? So let's say light red and okay that. And anywhere you have a duplicate, it shows it for you. You see? Or let's say no, I expected my numbers to be bigger than three. So what should I do now? Let's let me add some more data here. So I wanted to have data bigger than three, but for some reason, uh, some of my data, they don't look to be right. So again, I select this whole thing, go to under Home tab, conditional formatting, highlight and say any data less than three, highlighted with some color, maybe yellow for me. And boom, you got data less than three highlighted for me. Okay, so this highlighting is a very useful tool. Uh, what else? What about auto fit column width? So it happened a lot probably to you that you entered something in a column and the length of that text or number or whatever you entered is bigger than the uh, default width of the column, right? Now, if you want to adjust the width of any of these columns or the height of any of these rows, of course, you can just go move your cursor over these uh, end lines, end section of the lines, right? It goes uh, a double arrow black like this. And then what? You can adjust the width, correct? Or for a column and make sure everything fits in. Or... Uh, if you want a row, right, the stuff that you entered in a row is big, let's say here, uh, Excel is, and then you enter uh, fun, and maybe make this a little bit big. So let me make it big, so it is, right, you see, it is, uh, first of all, it, automatically did it for you but if you wanted to you could just click on this row and what make that row taller so you can manually adjust but sometimes you have this data over several columns and um, instead of going manually and doing it one by one there is a way to automatically do all of that okay so you select those ranges that you want the width of the column to automatically fit the length of the data and then let Excel take care of that for you okay 
you don't need to worry about that. So let's say here I select this range of data. Then I go under Format, again under Home tab, and say what? Auto Fit Column Width. And boom. You see? Made this narrow, made this just right enough, and this one just right enough. So under Format, this Auto Fit Column Width. That is a very good one. Or if you want just the column width or the row height or auto fit row height, these options will do the resizing of the cells, rows, and columns automatically for you. So they can save your time. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about uh, merges, merging cells, borders, color, picture, and so on then probably hyperlink and export to PDF. We can do that probably later, actually, after at least I tell you how to create some plots, right? Because I need to talk about functions and plot, then I'll tell you how to do hyperlink, export to PDF, and then we go to more advanced topics. So first, let's do talk a little bit about some graphics here. So let's say here I have some numbers. And here there is another number, there is another set of numbers, and I want to color code them, or I want to put them around some table or something. So let's say here I have data X, and this is like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11, 14, 17, and let's say 20. Okay, just making up some data. Here y is, let's say, uh, this is y, and y is equal to, um, let's say, 2 times x plus 5, correct? And then you apply it to the rest of it, and then you have more data. But let's say that's, that's enough. So here, I select this data and center them if I want. You don't have to. And now I can color code each one of these columns to tell the user, hey, each one of them belongs to a separate variable. Or let's say you have some people with each one of them with their own data, and you want to highlight the whole row for that person, the next row for another person, and use color to distinguish separate uh, aggregates of data. So here I select this data, and then I go under fill with color and make them all yellow. Then I go maybe here and fill that with some other color like that. And maybe I select these two and then make it red. You see? So I can make it a lot nicer. And uh, I can select any data. I can make, of course, the font ball, the bold. I can resize and I can change the color of the uh, text in it if I want to. Okay, so this is the color of the text. This is the color of the cell. Okay, so this is color coding. Now, you can also add borders for the cells. If you look, the borders of the cells are kind of what we call invisible or um, gray shading, but you can make them black shaded so they are more distinguished from the rest of the cells. So let's say I want to add some uh, uh, borders here. So one thing I can do, I can select this whole thing, then go here to borders and say do all borders. And now you see I have added these black borders all over the place and uh, made it nice. Now, not always you want to do that maybe, right? Maybe you just want to do it on this one. So you do it on that. Good. Now for this guy... You don't want to do it all on the borders and inside. So you go and change it. Say, well, all I want is the outside borders. And for this one, the same. Outside borders. Okay. You see? So I did not draw all of those lines between all of these rows. So it's up to you how to use these borders and... Um, basically uh, make it nice enough. So here, look, I can select this even and say what? Thick outside border. I can make it thicker. 
So if you want to mark specific cells, use borders and colors and make your uh, Excel, uh, first of all, more attractive, second of all, more informative and easier to handle and work with. Another thing you can do is to uh, merge cells together, right? So let's say if I select these six cells, I can merge them and make them what? One giant cell, right? So I can merge any combination of cells in rows, columns, like a matrix, and make it one uh, single cell. The only thing you have to pay attention when you're merging, if there is already data, if there is already data in each one of those cells, what happens? So here I select, let's say these, and say merge them, right? So I say merge, then it says, hey, if I would merge it for you, I would only keep one of these values, the top value, the rest of them will be discarded, okay? So you see, you have to be a little bit careful about merging cells when there is data in them. As long as there is no data in them, no worries. But when there is data in them, that's not going to be a good idea. And you can, of course, unmerge cells and do other things too, but pay attention what it does to the values already in them. Okay, and of course, you can add, um, you can add, uh, let me get rid of these lines. Okay, you can add pictures and make it a lot nicer if you want, correct? So let's say this is for some specific set of data. And uh, now you want to add a picture to it. So let's say here, for example, this is for a um, maybe list of squares curve fitting, right? So you are teaching list squares curve fitting and you want to add a picture relevant to this topic to it and uh, maybe here this is a good picture right so I click here and say save image as and I save it somewhere maybe on downloads call it picture picture one whatever and now I want to add something here so I go to insert and then I say what picture just like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and I can easily break that uh, bring that uh, picture and resize it put it wherever I want and make my presentation or data sheet or anything nicer right so you can insert pictures you can insert tables I'll show you more about tables right and there are lots of other things that you can insert including equations so just like microsoft word you can also insert an equation here so let's say if you want here to tell the user what was this equation between y and x here so you might for example go ahead and merge those cells together and then here you can go ahead and insert a, and if it allows you insert an equation. So uh, let me, apparently it doesn't like the merge cell. So I say insert an equation and it allows you to type it. It doesn't need to belong to a specific cell. So you can put it wherever you want. And here I can say, well, my Y was, let's say X cubed plus 2x plus 5 okay and you can put it here and again if some of these guys are on the way you can these border lines you can merge them right so it gives you a clean white area to insert your equation so you can do insert of a bunch of things we talk about hyperlinks later when we talk about um, and you can insert text boxes too, of course, but we'll talk about graphs and uh, or plots and hyperlink later.
So this are some basic things that you could do. And again, this picture can bring it to front, you can bring it to back and do a bunch of other things about the picture. The tools for it are all under here. You can add border. So just, just very similar to Microsoft Word. You can crop it. You can modify its um, lighting, modify its color, add artistic features, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm not going to go into detail of that. I assume that you know some of it in Microsoft Word. Okay, so... Uh, I would like to stop this video right here and in the next video I'm going to talk about functions, plots and so on. Thank you.